Okay, so just make sure there's a bit of pressure on those. Don't have to be a lot. They'll hold up pretty well. Now, just how does the seat brace go on? Well, we're going to put a pair of these here, and then this slider will be here, and that'll allow you to adjust the back of the seat. So I'll go ahead and put these uh, two pieces on. Move the bolts. There's a thread in, in the slider itself, actually. So one bolt through there. Just be sort of finger tight at the moment. Second one, uh, I've designed it with a slight kink in there just to keep the area behind the seat very narrow, which is what you need if you're going to be carrying panniers on the back. So the panniers will be narrow and the air will go around them better. Just finger tight on that so they can move reasonably well. I'll slide this on. Okay. And just give it a little bit of a twist to get it to move. There's uh, Allen bolts here again. Don't need to be super tight at the moment. Now we're going to drop the seat back on. The seat back bolts at the bottom here. And then we'll put the seat attachment at the top. So starting at the bottom. Yes. So I'll just put a little bit of tension on these nuts here connecting the seat back and the seat pan. We'll go through later and check all the tension. I just want to show you the assembly now. That's not attached here. There's a couple of barrel nuts inserted in here, which I've just, uh, they're already inserted there. Then there's a cup which fits over that round section and marries up the angle to the seat back. So I put the bolt through the cup and then into that into that barrel nut. There we go, and the other one. I'm just going to cheat a little bit and make sure that the barrel nut thread is pointing to where I want it. Put the second cup on. Seat covers on. I'm starting to see the complete image of the bike. So next put the wheels on. Small wheel at the front, of course. Just gotta watch the disc slides up between the calipers. And a bit of tension, of course, on here. There we go. And then I'll use one of these handy mounts uh, available from the bike shop, and I think they're really great. This keeps everything in line. We'll go down to the back wheel. And before uh, we can put the back wheel on, we need to just do a little bit of chain management. Just have to imagine where the 
chain goes and how it goes. go into the dropout slot. There's not on the inside here. chain on the front, loop it going backwards, so. otherwise the bike will drive off the table. So there's the chain and then the tension on the chain is provided by a pair of snail cams. Sort of rather fun, really. You want the chain nearly as tight as you can get it. But, uh, so just weave the back wheel slightly to be able to make sure the snail cam is on just about the last clip that you can get. And then we need to connect the gearbox. To connect the gearbox, it's got to be all the way into first gear, so there's plenty of slack on the cable. the cover over. So that's the gearbox uh, connected. And uh, there's your bike. She's assembly is complete. Reasonably painless. Very good if you're traveling. And uh, we need to get it down off the table now and go through some of the adjustments. So the ergonomics is just perfect for you.